Hi everyone, it's Brian. Today I'm going to do something I've never done before on camera, and that is open two packages that came on the same day. Uh, so this is my first uh, experience with VCLT, and as luck would have it, they both arrived on the same day, so I'm going to open them both now. The first one, I know what's in this, I think I know what's in this package, it's from Michael P. Doss, and I was commenting on his April Vines video, April uh, Vinyl Finds video, and I made a comment that my Frank Zappa collection is uh, a little wanting. And uh, it's true, I have on vinyl um, a ship arriving too late to save a drowning witch. And on CD I have um, Strictly Commercial, that compilation, and the Cheap Thrills things. And that's it. Now I know some of his music from years gone by. Some friends of mine had some music, but I didn't know much. I don't have much in, 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 in uh, any physical format. So he said that uh, he has an extra copy of Jazz From Hell, and if I wanted it he would be happy to send a copy and I have to say it's a very generous offer considering you know postage in Canada or to Canada which is bordering on extortionate so this is the package and I did cut the tape but I haven't looked inside so I'm going to look inside now so um, Michael I, I realize is also a musician so that's kind of interesting I listened to some stuff on his YouTube channel okay oh okay right so I feel like it's Christmas morning and people are watching me opening things so the first thing is, uh, this is great, um, Rats Alley, uh, which is uh, music from Michael P. Dawson, and this one's called Paleozoic, also from Michael P. Dawson. That's great. Uh, you know, the other day I actually was listening to snippets of Rats Alley on Bandcamp and uh, seeing what it was like. So this is, this is really great. I'm, thank you, Michael. This is fantastic. I will definitely listen to those. And in here is Frank Zappa. Jazz from Hell. And I'm really happy to get that. I will be listening to this. And there's uh, Michael's Bandcamp information, so I'll definitely go back there. Thank you very much, Michael. That's very generous. Um, I appreciate you sending that to me. And I will definitely listen, listen to that. Now, the other thing that I got on the same, same, same mail delivery is uh, something from TCAT, which is uh, TCAT's Deep Vinyl Tracks. His name is Mike. Uh, a Canadian lives in Canada and he sent me this rather giant box. I was under the impression he was sending me one thing, but there's clearly more than, whoops, don't knock my computer off. Clearly more than one thing in here, so I'm going to open this now. And if it takes too long, I might edit this, this out because I got to get the plastic off, get the uh, tape off here. So maybe you could talk amongst yourselves for a minute while I struggle. All right. Okay. So <laughs> again, I feel like it's Christmas morning and people are watching me opening presents. But here we go. I'm gonna find out what's in here. Not, some of these I'm not gonna know much about. Um, there is a note which I will. Oh, it's a, a description of this this thing. Okay. So the first thing is. Um, Beautiful Bedlam, which I know nothing about. A CD, and there's a little piece of paper describing some of the contents here. Okay, second thing is Grizzly Bear. Now, I do know Grizzly Bear because I recently picked up a 12 inch single with Brian Eno, Nicholas Jar, and Grizzly Bear. I don't know if you've seen that. I would pull it out if I knew this was here, and uh, I would show you that, but that's cool. I've, I was interested in hearing more from this band because of that CD I recently picked, or the single I recently picked up. Ah, Skinny Puppy. Now I have a lot of Skinny Puppy on vinyl, very interesting industrial kind of band, and that's really cool. I don't know this one. I don't have it, I don't know it, but I have a bunch of other Skinny Puppy on vinyl. None on CD though. This is Inhale. So I don't know what this is. Inhale figure one. So I have to investigate that because I'm not actually sure what that <laughs> what that is. Uh, next thing is, wow, this is kind of, cool. <laughs> this is like party music, I guess. Anthems from the 90s, so that's cool. We've got, uh, oh, we're going to have to go through what's on here, but just to give you some indication, Bill Biff DeVoe, Bobby Brown, OMC, How Bizarre, you know that song, Ace of Bass. What else is on here? Oh, oh there's this is like five CDs of, oh, Salt and Pepper. Oh. Erica Badu. There's tons of stuff in here. 
fascinating, fascinating. And here's a message which I'll read later. And I'm going to show you what's in this in this box, which is quite a lot, quite a lot of stuff. Okay, so Paul Inc. I think this came up because of a, a video I did, and it was a comment about Paul Inc. I have to refresh my memory on that. A Canadian, I think he's from Ottawa, so I mean that makes a lot of sense. You're having my babies on here. I know that song. I know that song. Um, this is one thing I, I I knew was in here is this kayak record. Again, I I mentioned in. Um, one of Mike's videos that I didn't, I've seen this record before, didn't know anything about it. He talked about it one day, or talked about the band one day. So that's kind of cool. I will listen to that. Whoa. So this is Spartacus Triumvirate. No, is that, did I pronounce that right? Yes. Again, I know nothing about this band, but uh, I'm sure if, if Mike recommends it, I, I will enjoy it. So that's something I know nothing about. This is Ben Platt, Sing to Me Instead. Well, you <laughs> may have found tons of stuff I've never heard of and don't have. So I, again, I don't know what this is. I've never even heard of it. And then we have, that's the straps. Now I do know this band. I don't have anything by them. I, know, I don't know much about them. I have seen this in stores, but I, again, I don't know much about it. Promotional copy of the best of the Strobs, so I guess that's a good way to get into the Strobs. I don't know how you managed to pick things I, I don't have. So Vangelis, I do have some uh, vinyl from Vangelis, but not this one. So this looks to be a collection of uh, pieces from film scores that he's done. So that's pretty cool. We've got stuff from Chariots of Fire, um, some previously unreleased stuff, Antarctica, a soundtrack I do know, uh, China, uh, Opera Sauvage. Yeah, so interesting. I don't know. I don't have that. Trillion, again, something I've never heard of before. This is called Clear Approach. I Again, I, I will be putting this on my uh, turntable soon. And the last thing here is um, Eye to Eye. And again, uh, this just rounds it out. <laughs> I haven't heard this either. And, uh, but that's kind of cool. I'm always interested in hearing things I've never heard before. So, um, wow, that's it. Um, thank you to both, Michael and Mike. Um, I will put links to their channels below. Um, this has been an interesting uh, Friday, so uh, thanks for sending those to me. It's very generous of both of you, and I look forward to listening to them. And uh, I'll be back sometime soon. Thanks.